My name is Augustine Ayatunde. I work with uh, IRI. I'm based at uh, Mali office. My background is uh, animal science. Well, I attended this conference on the future of pastoralism in Africa, here in Addis, and it has been a very wonderful conference in my perspective. One, the participation is quite very amazing. You have a lot of so-called giants in pastoral studies that attended the conference, and I could remember some of them that I read about their work as students, now meeting them, you know, yeah, it's, a, it's a big opportunity. Well, in terms of takeaway messages, when you talk of the future of pastoralism in Africa, the message that came out here clearly is you have different people with different inclinations. There are those ones that I can call the optimists that still believe there is future for them you know, in Africa and that their resilience based on what they have you know, passed through, they have been living in harsh environments and they have been adapting over the years and that they will keep on adapting. But then you have the story of doom and gloom, the pessimists that say, look, they can't keep moving around, so they need to sedentarize. And because of the population, you no know, pressure, demographic pressure, and the government policies around, I mean, to sedentarize them. So it's in a way, the future is not all that you know, good you know, for them. So it, there's no clear-cut picture. But one thing that is very clear is, when we talk of the future of pastoralism, quite very often we cannot generalize different pastoralists in different places we adapt we have different future and when you take the case of west africa i mean the pastoralists there they have really managed quite well to adapt you know to the changing context in which they operate for instance many pastoralists especially the fulani or the pole in french they have been known now to be cultivating crops for for more than 30 years and the crop livestock integration they are even by the pastor in pastoral system is amazing so in a way for them they are more or less pragmatic set of people they still keep their tradition but at the same time they take advantage of the present opportunities and i think that's where the future will lie that whatever the challenge they take advantage of the present opportunities while at the same time they keep you know their tradition so